Um, with the added pressure of it, you being favourites and, of course, the nine-year wait, what's the mentality of the players going into this one? Are you feeling the pressure in this? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I think if you feel the pressure, it gets the best out of you. And you know, we've played under pressure for uh, throughout the whole season and uh, certainly got the best out of us then. So um, we're excited for the game. We want to turn the pressure into a positive, uh, positive attitude and, and look forward to the game, how we've done the last the last few games of the season. You're on the bench in that 2011 League Cup final. Can that experience and that match act as motivation going into Saturday? Sorry? The, the 2011 League Cup final, you're on the bench yeah. for that game. Is there a feeling that you can uh, use that as an experience um, and act as motivation for Saturday? Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, we, was, we were aware of what happened then and um, we want to be focused for the whole game and not take anything for granted. Uh, the fact that you said that you've been with favourites, um, we're not going to go into the game with that mentality. We're going to uh, go into the game how we've done the whole season and that's prepare 100% and uh, give everything. When you were growing up and watching FA Cup final, what was your earliest memory of, a, of an FA Cup final? Um, oh, well, I'm not, I don't know about my earliest memory, but my latest memory is obviously uh, 2005 um, when we won. Uh, where, where were you watching that? Um, at home, I think. Yeah. Um, we spoke to a couple of the other players, and they're looking ahead to, to Brazil and the World Cup. It, it wasn't a big <coughs> this time. How disappointed are you that you're not involved in? Has no. the manager, has the manager been in touch with you to explain your omission? Uh, no, no, I'm not really focused on, on that now. I have a big game on Saturday that I want to win. So, all right, thank you. Thank you. Kieran, finishing in the top four year after year is obviously a fine achievement, but do you think it will feel extra special if you were to actually win that trophy? Um, yeah, I think obviously it's it's been a positive season for us, even though we have finished fourth, we finished higher than we did last year in terms of points. But as you said, a trophy would um, add an extra positive feel to our season. and. Uh, I just feel like the boys have given everything that they've had this season that um, we want to finish it off strongly and I feel like the team deserve to to finish the season uh, in, a, in a good, positive way. You were in the squad in, in 2011 when you lost Birmingham in the League Cup final. What are your memories of that play and how will you use them to, to try and ensure that doesn't happen again? Uh, well, I mean... It's obviously a big occasion, any any game uh, at Wembley, and um, yeah, it's a cup final, and um, anything can happen in cup games. Uh, I think we've seen that happen over many of the years, not just in 2011. Um, I think it's just a case of just remaining calm, as as calm and composed as possible for for the whole game, and um, we know we've got the quality to win the game, so we have to we have to do that again on on the weekend. We can be quite cynical and, and think that it's all about the Champions League these days for players, but truly for you, how much does the FA Cup still mean? It's, it's massive, obviously. Um, we take all competitions seriously, and uh, at the end of your career, you want to look on what you've won, and um, this is a chance to look back and what's been a good season and say, yeah, we managed to, to win the FA Cup. And Kieran, turning to your form in your season, do you feel you've made a step on during the current ca of the current campaign? Yeah, I feel uh, this has been my best season, um, numbers-wise and uh, stats-wise. I had a bit of a dip at the start of the year, um, but managed to finish off strongly. And um, just looking forward to to the cup final and and to next season. It's a competitive position at Arsenal, isn't it? Uh, the left back. You've got Nacho there as well. It, it, you seem to have spurred each other on. Yeah, he's stepped up when uh, when I've not been available, and um, when he's not been available, I've performed as well. So um, I feel like we've both keep each other on it, uh, each other's toes, and it's important for 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 our development individually and for the club as well. Just last one from me on the on the, the game itself. In the semi final, um, Arsenal need a lot of character, need a lot of will, a lot of patience um, to win that game. 
do you think it's going to be a similar type of affair at the weekend? Yeah, I mean, I don't know how how we're going to about, go about the game, but um, I mean, we we like to play our way. I think everyone knows how we play the game, and um, I'm not sure that we'll we'll change too much because um, we know we've we've got the quality to win the game. So we just want to go about it how we've gone about most of the season. Yeah. Kieran, will the results you've had against Hull this season in the Premier League have any bearing at all on this final? No, no, because as you said, uh, as I said earlier, the, in the cup games there's a different feel to it. Um, I think everyone knows that uh, lots of there's lots of surprises that have have happened over the years in cup games, and um, so we want to go about it just in the same way as uh, as we've had, and not not take Hull for granted, even though. Despite the results uh, for the, from the Premier League this season, there's been a lot of talk today and over the years as well about this drought that Arsenal had for a trophy. But how much inspiration inspiration can you take from the history of this club and the number of trophies that they have won down the years? Yeah, the club has great history, and um, it's up to us to 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 keep that going. Um, obviously, there's no hiding the fact that we haven't won a trophy for a few years, so it's an extra added pressure and. An, added excitement for the players to, to produce for the club. Throughout Arsenal's history there's been big occasions, cup finals, important league games for Hull City less so and they're likely to show a lot of desire in this game because many of those players have not had an opportunity to perform at this sort of level before. Is there any advantage in the experience that you've got as players heading into this sort of game that you do have the experience of the big occasion? Um, well I mean obviously I think time will tell but uh, yeah, we have got players that have played, um, that have that experience and played on those kind of stages. Um, we've also got players that that haven't um, won things for a while, so we we can use that as as our as our hunger to to win on the weekend. Yes. Kieran, you've been here longer than most of the squad, and you probably face that trophy drought question more than most. I mean, why do you think it has? gone on so long when you reflect on your time here, why, why do you think it has taken so long to win a trophy? Um, well it's hard to say I mean we've we've not been the luckiest in terms of um, for me personally in terms of injuries at key stages of seasons um, we've, we've losing players at certain times um, a number of things obviously we were, you can say we were unlucky in the, the cup final uh, in 2011, um, so I think it's a combination of many things, but not really looking at um, what's happened now. We just want to uh, focus on the game on Saturday. Sure, I mean, you, you mentioned the Cup final year three years ago. Do you think you're a better team now? Um, me, how I feel when I play on the pitch, I feel like this team um, is the best that I've played in for for a long time. Why do you feel that way? Um, I just feel the team's got a good balance and um, there's just a, uh, a strong desire in the team to want to win every game and every day coming in uh, and training and everything is, is 100% and um, yeah. And just, just finally, in terms of your own injury, you mentioned your injuries and we know, we know how difficult it's been for you. Do you think you've put that behind you now? Do you think you're now finally ready to give 100% and you're not going to break down again that you can kind of really take your career on now? Yeah, I mean I've played 40 games this season so I have to be happy with that and uh, take it forward from there. And the binder? Do you think the, the match is too hard for you because uh, Steve Burrow said yesterday his club did an amazing job, so there is no pressure for his player. The only pressure will be on Arsenal player after this long time, and this is uh, this year. What is the mentality you will face this uh, problem? Um, yeah, as you said, they they probably feel less pressure because uh, they've done a great job as well to get there, and um, you would probably say that we were the favourites, so uh, the pressure would be more on us. We, we know what we have to do, we we experience now and we want to go about the game uh, in a positive way 
and not worry about um, the opposition and just worry about ourselves. Okay, last couple now. Carrie? Karen, you talked in the past about the posters on the walls and this training ground and the trophies and how it, it does stink into your mind. They are getting a bit dated. How special would it be for you to have a poster of yourself with a cup on that wall? Yeah, well, I mean, that's the, that's the aim. And uh, we've come this far, so um, we'll do everything we can to, to, to get up there. The fact of fifth consecutive victories as well, and with the likes of Ramsey and Ozil coming back <coughs> and even Jacket training today, is there more confidence? Are you actually re reaching peak performance at the right time? Well, it's al always good to have uh, a bigger squad coming into a game like this at the end of the season because um, you know that players can be tired but I mean we are we are confident and I think that the fact that everyone's together uh, will give us that extra push that we need. And finally Mark. Kieran, we were talking about injuries earlier, we, we obviously seen Alex out there today and in particular Jack. For you personally, seeing the English boys back and, and Jack in particular, is how big a boost is it to see him back out there, he seems to be having a laugh with the rest of the boys, how, how crucial is it to have him back at this stage? Yeah, big boost. Uh, big characters uh, and big players, so we need them. How much do you think you've, you've missed him the last few months? Yeah, we've missed him and we've missed um, we've missed other players as well. And, um, and they're now coming back and uh, we're, we're happy to have them back. <laughs>